is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. I got married in Connecticut. That is correct. I got married in the state of Connecticut when I was there. That, it's, it's disgusting in my opinion. Like, I'm actually disgusted. You know, I got married in Connecticut. It was a so complete surprise for all of you. Not a single person really expected that that was going to happen because I never talked about it on purpose for my own and, and Kat's own and my family's personal safety. Um, it was basically the best kept secret I've ever kept, and it went incredibly well. Lol. You know, I, I knew. I mean, just imagine. Can you guys just imagine how the trolls would have reacted? If they knew I was flying to Connecticut to get married, but at the same time, I needed help with these taxes. Oh! A benefit. Oh! And, uh, where are we headed? That is disgusting. Disturbing and disgusting. Stop scamming people. Phil's a scam artist. Phil is scamming his viewers. And, and by the way, as I'm going to explain, don't worry. Again, everything's going to be explained. Everything I told you guys up front about that stuff is true. Everything, every dollar that was raised to help with taxes is going towards the taxes. I'm a thief, I'm a scammer, I'm a liar, uh, I'm a pedophile, I'm uh, abusive. That's what I'm all about, okay? That's what I'm all about. I have a positive update in regards to the taxes. Okay, I do. I have a very positive update. Um, and I'm going to share that with you on today's stream. Here's the thing. I knew... I fully knew that with the situation going on with the taxes and everything, all right, that once the word got out that I had gotten married in Connecticut, that you were going to have insane amounts of trolling. I just knew it. I knew this was going to be the field day for trolls where they were going to go out and literally just make shit up because this is their livelihood. This is what they do. This is how they get their attention and their jollies. I'm sure they probably got insane amounts of views in the last few days since I announced on Wednesday that I was married. And it's all one million percent based on speculation. One million percent based on speculation. Not a single piece of it is based on fact. Because the bottom line is there's no facts to support anything that any of them have said. Oh, Phil's a scammer and Phil took the money that he said was for taxes and he did it to pay for a wedding. The whole notion is so ludicrous. It is. It's so ludicrous. If anyone who knows anything, all right, about any kind of, of wedding planning knows you don't pay for things on the day of the fucking wedding. It's just so stupid. Yes, I'm sure that the Saturday or the, the Friday and Saturday before my wedding, I raised, you know, some money for taxes and I, I spent that on the venue and everything. What are you talking about? Anything for a wedding that would have had to be done has to be done way ahead of time, okay? There's no way it could even go towards it. In addition to that, the funny part, you have zero evidence of anything that I did in Connecticut. You have none. Because the bottom line is, I'm sure as soon as I announced I was married, you can rest assured the trolls went right on the internet. Oh my god, we gotta search for wedding venues. Where was the Brunel party? We gotta find where Phil got married. What did he pay for? Is there a church that we can find where there was a Br Brunel's were married? Can we do this? And the bottom line is, they found nothing. Because guess what? None of that exists. Because guess what? None of that happened. I got married in an incredibly small ceremony that was personal. And it was just for me, Kat, and a few very small select family members. And that was it. And none of that existed. None of it. Okay? <laughs> but I'm going to tell you as much as I possibly can. Um, and by the end of this podcast, basically there's going to be two, two groups. There's going to be a group of people who... Um, actually, I'll say there's three groups. There's going to be a group of people who are just my, 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 my supporters. They believe me anyway. Stop being a fucking fanboy. I mean it. You got to fucking stop, dude. You've got to stop. You got to start fucking being a normal person. And stop kissing ass, dude. Ha <laughs> Stop being a drone. Stop being a fucking sheep. Get the fuck out of here. Stop being a drone. Stop being a fucking sheep. They know They know that I'm, I'm honest and upfront and truthful about this stuff. And that this was something... Lying about the, the marriage was something I necessarily had to do to protect myself and my family. Alright? And people will understand that. Okay? Um, 
Then there's going to be a group of people who maybe heard the thing and were like, man, that's kind of weird that he didn't tell us, but I want to hear the story. And once you hear the story, you'll be like, okay, great. I got my answers and good to go. And then you're going to have a group of people who just don't care. No matter what I say or do, they're not going to believe me. I could provide you with empirical evidence proving everything I say is true. I could show you emails. I could show you documents, licenses. I could show you a million things, and they'll still say it's fake. So there's no point in me trying to satisfy those people because I know those people are never going to be satisfied. And by putting forth certain information, like, for example, I'll be honest with all of you, I really strongly considered showing you the marriage license, but then I realized there's names of, of you know, Kat's family members on there, you know, informa personal information about my parents and stuff on there, and I'm like, I can't do that. So basically, I'm just going to do what I always do. I'm going to tell you guys the truth up front, be incredibly transparent with all of you. I'm going to reveal stuff to you that I couldn't tell you before this trip went down, again, for safety and security purposes, and it should serve to answer all of your questions moving forward. And the other thing about this is, once this podcast is over, this should be a bit of closure. For those of you who are logical humans, they're not using conscious thought anymore. Meh, meh, meh. You're going to be like, okay, Phil finally explained everything. This is good. We had some questions. They're answered. Now we can move on and have gameplay streams like always, and that's that. All right, that's, that's why I purposely scheduled this stream for today. I knew that when this, when this trip went down and the announcement came out that we were married, that there was going to be all these questions and controversy and people are going to want their answers before I start streaming gameplay again. That if Right now, if I was going to stream Sekiro, the entire stream would be just me answering questions about the trip anyway. So there's no point in me doing gameplay right now. I got to get this podcast out of the way. And in addition to that, tonight I'm playing Black Ops 4 Blackout again on purpose because I figured that's an interactive stream where I can talk with you guys a lot. So even if all the questions don't somehow get answered on this podcast or people miss out on this podcast, they can still tune in tonight and have more interaction with me during gameplay before we get back to the serious gameplay tomorrow of Sekiro. I value your time and attention. I value your support. And I, I it sucks. I'm going to be very honest with all of you. It fucking sucks. Okay? Um, that I had to hide this. I didn't want to hide this. I want This would have been something amazing and positive that all along the time that I was doing it, I could have been t sharing the planning stages. I could have been sharing all this positive information with all of you, okay? And I couldn't because I knew that if I did, that immediately you'd have assholes trying to ruin it, people fucking trolling my family, trying to ruin the ceremony, and I knew I couldn't have that for the safety of everyone and everything. I had to. I had to lie. I'm good at lying. <laughs> And it sucks because I don't like doing that. I, I I pride myself over 10 years that I've been doing this. I've been upfront with most of you, uh, you know, on everything. Everything possible. And this was a situation where I knew, I knew I had to hide it. And you see someone like Jake likes cats or like cats, Jake or like Jake cats, or whatever the fuck his name is, saying, well, you shouldn't have hit it because now you see it makes you look worse. Dude, do really think, in the scheme of things, in the scheme of things, it's more important for me to eat some shit for a few days, come back and do a podcast, and like I said, my loyal viewers and followers who trust me anyway are going to believe me anyway, and so it does, you know, it's, things are going to continue as business as usual. Or do you think it would, uh, having the whole ceremony ruined, having everyone trolled who was involved with the ceremony all fucking week, probably have assholes calling in pranks and swatting and shit, do you really think that that's, that's worth it? No. And anyone who is a mature fucking brain is going to say understand. The bottom line is, many people don't. Many people are just like, well, you're a streamer, so therefore you should be 100% transparent on everything. Fuck your own privacy. Fuck your own, you know, having a nice ceremony. Fuck your family. Fuck everyone. Uh, just share everything and we don't care. It's all on your expense anyway. Ha ha ha, the world's just a big joke. It's not. You were only here to laugh at me instead of laugh with me. You were only here to deride me. You never actually cared about me. And I get the feeling a lot of the people who hate me and constantly make a living uh, hating on me don't understand the repercussions of their actions. If I would ever go away, what would these people do with their lives? They'd have no one else to make fun of. Come into my streams, hang out, have fun, be chill, and relax, right? And have a few laughs at my expense if, you know, something goes wrong. And those people are so fucked in the head that it doesn't matter what I say or do, they're never going to be convinced otherwise anyway. So I don't give a fuck. And that's the thing. If you're one of those people who, like, I hate Phil... I hate everything he does. I don't believe a word he says. I think he's a pedo and a criminal and a scammer and an asshole. <laughs> then I don't care about you. What can I possibly ever do to win you over? You're such a biased idiot. There's nothing I could do anyway. So why do I give a shit, right? The purpose of this show is to basically explain to all of you, um, to explain to all of you that this is what happened. Here's all the details of it, okay? Here's why it happened. And if you believe me, great. And I know there's going to be people who believe me because they're the people who've been with me 
for a long time and they understand the kind of person I am. They're on my daily live streams. They see who I really am as a person. And that's all I care about. That's all I can do, right? That's all I can do, all right? And if you believe something otherwise than what I tell you today, there's nothing I can do to convince you otherwise, right? And, you know, that's just the situation. I, you know, it was more important for me to have this once-in-a-lifetime event that was protected and was safe than to be transparent with all of you. But again, as I've already said, I can assure all of you that there was no deception whatsoever on my part outside of the fact that the wedding existed. All funds that I raised for taxes and the like are going towards taxes. Not a dollar. Not a single dollar. That was supposed to be raised for taxes went towards anything during this this wedding or anything nothing a silver tongued talker right oh i'm just gonna say it one way and hopefully you'll believe it even though that's not the truth and that's literally what's happening here the guy's a liar the guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone but people are believing it because they don't know any better all this was already prepaid for and everything by my by, by, well i'll explain it i'll explain during the course, of, I'm getting ahead of myself again, right? Which I shouldn't do. I should just take my time, okay? All right, so, um, and no, ladies and gentlemen, I have no preferred method of any kind of contribution whatsoever. You can go ahead and you can cheer, you can sub, you can tip. They're all very positive things, and I appreciate any contributions. I think there's something that's very important that I should start saying, all right? And I'm going to start saying it now. Contributions are appreciated contributions are very very much helpful but they're not required i'm very happy to just have people come by and hang out with me and enjoy my streams on a daily basis the contributions keep them going by full transparency and by no means am i trying to downplay the positive impact of contributions they're the reason i'm still here after 10 years of adversity with youtube falling apart and everything um, and the reason why I'm a full-time streamer now instead of a full-time YouTuber, okay? It's the contributions that keep me going. But, they're not required. Well, again, we got someone who tipped $5 and is claiming that they said something about, um, wanted to know if their donations that they've given over the past few months were used for the marriage and they were instantly banned. As I've already said, today's not the day for that. I've already explained... This whole podcast, the point of it is for me to answer all your questions, and that question will be 100% answered. By putting that in the stream chat, you're throwing that out there to a moderation team that's already going to be strained, and you basically saying, oh, well, I'm not going to support you anymore, because that's what he says here. He tipped me and said, I tipped you recently, but I'm not going to support you anymore because I got banned in the stream chat. And then I banned them, like this. It's a lot of fun to lean forward and do that lean-in ban on assholes like you. I'm sorry, that just shows that you're, you're basically wishy-washy. You didn't actually support me. If, if getting banned on today of all days in the stream chat, a temporary ban, by the way, it's not like you couldn't get unbanned, just explain the situation. But if seriously, you're so tilted and twisted because you got banned for asking the question I already said don't ask in stream chat and you got banned for it and now you're not going to support me anymore, well, bye. A 100% negative and toxic person. Sora Satoshi, subscribe for 28 months. Thank you, Sora. King of Golf HD, did a 50-bit cheer. He says, this is, this is butt-fucking-retarded. How can people accuse you of deception and lying before you even speak on your own behalf um, and give info? It doesn't even make sense. Dude, the moment, the absolute moment that I posted up the post, um, you know, on, what was it? On Instagram? That was it. Immediately attacks and nasty shit. And this is the thing. I'm announcing my marriage. A once-in-a-lifetime amazing positive event. I'm announcing. And you got people... Basically doing insanely nasty things. You're a scammer. You're a piece of shit. You're this or that. Dude, it's like of all the day, if you were a moral person, if you had a fiber of goodness or morality or maturity in your body, you'd probably say, all right, maybe not on this post. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> 1,800 milligrams of sodium. Oh, I got to take a sip. Even if I suspect Phil's a horrible person, maybe not on the wedding post. I won't put that. But they did, because they are scum. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> they did, because they're scum. You know, there's really nothing else to it. JMFS1989 tipped me a dollar. Can you show us the proof you have tax money? Oh, my God. As I already said, I'm not, I'm not going to jump the gun. So, Ben Boxer cheer. He says, it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Oh, I have nothing to apologize for. Sorry for fucking what? I, I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything correct. You think I'm the villain? Go fuck yourself. I have absolutely nothing to apologize for. Uh, you know, the only thing that I can say is I am sorry that I had to hide the wedding. That's it. 
That's it. Nothing. Everything else that I told you guys was upfront, 100% honest. There's nothing, nothing to apologize for at all. So why would I apologize, right? Um. So there you go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like I said, the purpose of this podcast is to clear up things for the for the the fans who just want to know what actually happened on this trip. How long was the planning? How did this all go down? How, what's the situation with the taxes now? Because we're curious what happened. I'm going to give you those answers, you know, because I care about you guys. I do, and I appreciate the years and years of support. I'm going to be upfront and honest with all of you about all of this, okay? All right. Talk about, like, brainwashing mentality. I just don't know what else to say. And people who are so fucking brain dead think it's good. Jack, 36. Timmy, two bucks is waiting on the divorce. Oh, my oh! God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're going to be waiting a long fucking time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Trust me when I say this. This, this, this. I'm madly in love with Kat. I want to be with her for the rest of my life. I'm not with someone who just rushes into this, you know. I, I've known her for uh, two years. And, you know, lived with her for over a year. She's been a massive improvement to my life. She's been uh, life-changing in many ways. Many, many, many positive ways. And she's my significant other. She's my soulmate. She's my best friend. And this is something that's going to be forever. Okay. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. There he is. He's beautiful. Look how red he is. Damn, that's a cool coat. Pretty nice, huh? Short tail. He's a cool horse, man. No, I've never ridden a horse in real life. I don't even remember if I've ever even touched a horse in real life. I've seen them, but I don't know if I've ever even touched one, like pet one. I don't even remember. My horse, you know what? My horse is okay staying out here. My horse is fine. My horse has never bothered me. My horse is not a nosy asshole at all. Yeah. I put a saddle on him and everything. I'll leave my horse in the backyard. You have no horses available? Why? <laughs> Oh, fuck! First, I gotta get my horse. Where the fuck is it? Where's my horse? I just completed a mission. My horse is missing. Sounds good to me. Tipped me a dollar. It says, hey, Phil, congratulations on the wedding. Do you think you'll be able to play royalty-free music during streams to enhance it? Doesn't have to be loud. It's relaxing. One of my favorites of art escapism. The Water Embers. Never heard of that one. Uh, the answer is no. I'm fine with just playing my own music. Um, if ever, I, for some reason, I wasn't able to play the remixes, I'd go back to probably, like, PS4 relaxing dashboard music. I have no desire to play royalty-free music and anything that would go with it, because it's just going to be more complications, so. And they lost all the on me, so. Spread a little bit of that ketchup over the, the cheese. <laughs> Timbo Slice Cheers, just want to say congrats. Hope you two have an amazing, healthy life together. Don't understand people. If the person I hated most in the world had an amazing life event like a wedding day, I would at least stay positive. They don't understand uh, hate on personal life events. Yeah, like I said, you know. Okay, you don't like me. Got it. You think I'm a scammer. Got it. You think I'm a scumbag. Got it. You think I'm the worst gamer on the planet. Got it. All right. On the wedding post? <laughs> on the wedding post. The post announcing our marriage to the world. You got to put that shit. Like, does that not show how fucked up you are? Even if you you hate my guts and you believe all these negative, ridiculous conspiracy theories about me, the wedding post is not the place to put that shit. You see what I mean? Whining, complaining. <laughs> okay. Wow, Phil's a scammer. He's a piece of sh underhanded shit. He's been lying to his viewers and fans for so long. Um, and basically saying that, you know, he uh, was raising money for taxes. But all that money obviously went to pay for this wedding that he didn't tell us about. And he scammed us. And no one would have ever contributed if he had said it was for a wedding instead of something important like taxes. And this is fucked up. And he's really screwed the pooch. Is a scam. It's a money-making scam. It always was. Do I have to tell you every piece of personal information whatsoever? Do I have to pull evidence and shit out of my ass and say, look at this document proving that we were married and look at this receipt saying this is how much 
the tuxedo, it wasn't even a tuxedo, it was a 10-year-old suit, but you see what I'm saying. How much this cost and that cost? No, I don't owe that to anybody. All right, I don't. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Hank Duma tipped me $100. Wow, thank you very much, Hank. That's awesome stuff. I can't wait. I'm having so much fun now. Really, seriously. And I cannot wait for more... This is cool because I'm getting that positive that positive vibe that I had for most of 2017. I'm getting it back now. But now, I'm getting that groove back, getting that vibe back. I'm ready for fun stuff. I hope you guys are ready too. I, listen guys, just, just say, I'm incredibly grateful for any contributions today, guys. I'm not expecting anything. I said this on the pre-stream and I will actually say this in this video as well. Contributions are much appreciated and incredibly helpful, but they're not expected. Um, you make the wrong people rich. King of Galt cheered again. He says, Chestnut, we love you. How he hold down the fort? He looks beastly. He did. He defended the house. I mean, we did have... One of Kat's friends was coming by and checking on the house daily. We actually had threats. I had I actually had several direct threats via email and also social media, other things, of people saying they were going to come burn down my house and shit. Well, that's a great theory, Phil, but where's your evidence? Oh, I don't need evidence. I just made it, you know, it's just what I believe. But my neighbors here were aware that I was going to be away. We had someone come and check in on the house every day. And we have security. <laughs> Over. We have a security system. We have there's cameras. Like it's really stupid that anyone thought, thought that anything was gonna happen. Nothing did. Thank God. You know my mom, being very honest, health issues. She has a lot of problems with her back and her knees. She can't move around that much. Things are not going so well with my parents, and it's not like like job wise or financially. It's health wise. They're getting old. They're both in their sixties, and my mom's health has declined for multiple reasons. But the thing was, even with those issues, my mom was still able to come out here because she had my dad to help her. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is kind of the really messed up thing right now is that my dad now, his health has monstrously declined in the past couple of years. He was always healthy. When he was younger, he was a bodybuilder. He had many physical manual labor jobs in his life, moving freight cargo and doing these kind of things. And he's tried, you know, as he got older, he tried to stay physically active and physically fit, but he ended up kind of getting a little bit overweight. And basically what happened is two shitty things have happened to him in the last few years. First of all, his back got fucked up like mine. Now, for those who don't know, because my back has not been an issue for years, I used to have an incredibly bad back injury. I used to have a really bad back injury. It was a her severely herniated disc in my lower back to the point where I had numbness and pain and all kinds of stuff. I could barely move around for a year there during my time when I was on YouTube doing stuff. I could, could barely even move because I was so messed up. And so when I moved out here to Seattle... I don't know what it was. It could have been my lifestyle changes. It could have just been going to a new area. I don't know, but I said, man, I don't know. The air out here is clean or whatever. I don't know what it is, but my back's better. Oh, the Seattle air healed his back. <laughs> so because this happened with his back, my parents can't visit me anymore. He now has terrible heart problems. And so knowing all this, for the last, not even exaggerating, the last year, my parents have been talking to me about, can I come visit them? And I keep telling the guy, yeah, well, how can I? I ha don't have money to do it. I 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 don't have money to pay my fucking taxes. One day we were out. It was one of our days out. And we were, I believe at the local mall. Yeah, it was the local mall. And... For a little bit, we had been looking at engagement rings because we were curious, gee, what, you know, what are engagement rings? Oh, yeah, what do they cost or whatever? And the bottom line is engagement rings, depending on what you, what you get, could be dirt cheap, I'm talking under $100, to life-changingly expensive, like tens of thousands of dollars. Now, I just want to say something, all right? If you have that kind of crazy-ass money to go nuts and go spend thousands of dollars on a ring, go ahead. And there's these ridiculously stupid fucking things I've heard. Oh, it's expected that when you get your engagement ring, the cost of the ring should be about two to three months' salary for the male. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god. Who the fuck are you to make that kind of a crazy ass thing? Oh, that's a rule. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a, a quarter of my money this year on a fucking ring. A ring that could fall off the finger and go down a drain? A ring that the, the, the gem that cost thousands of dollars could pop out and roll into a gutter? Are you fucking stupid? You're the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. You're gonna spend insane amounts of money on a fucking ring. A thing that's just, it's not even the love. It's, the, it's a symbol.
right? A representation. It's not your love that you have to drop that money on. It's just nuts to me, okay? Absolutely fucking nuts, okay? And by the way, Cat agrees with me. We're like, this is nuts that people would go crazy with this shit. Obviously. <laughs> we were at the mall, and we just walked into a, a, a department store, and we were looking at the rings. The, the biggest jewelry sale I've ever seen in my life. I think what happened was this department store is one of these chains of department stores in the U.S. that's starting to, to go out of business. And they must have, like, insane amounts of inventory that they need to liquidate. This was a sale. 80% off all engagement rings. So we're looking at these rings. And there's rings that are priced, like, $800. And they're selling them for, like, $90. We're like, whoa, shit. Like, that's fucking nuts. And, so, and that's really, honestly why we got engaged when we did because we just stumbled upon this and we're like holy shit that's like we'll get a nice ring that normally you would pay an insane amount of money for if we act now and we talked about it and we said you know what we're gonna do it because we love each other we want to be with each other be with each other for the rest of our lives we know this it sucks that financially i'm in the position i'm in and probably will never have a nice wedding or if we do have a nice wedding there's nowhere near when we're gonna have it now but at least now we can say we're engaged so, we got engaged. I bought the ring. I proposed to her that night. She said yes. It's amazing. Done. Simple. Um, did I bend the knee? Yes, I did. I bent the knee. Absolutely. Got down on my knee and, and proposed to her. Chronic liar. So for tr full transparency, everyone, everything I've told you about this trip is 100% true. My parents are pay paying for the whole thing. They paid for the flight. They paid for all accommodations, transportation. They even gave us money to spend when we were there because we told them we have no money when we're there to spend on anything, to go, to, even to go out to a dinner. We don't have money for gas for this car. We just don't. We have no money for anything. My parents said, take it care of. We're going to cover everything. And they did. So the whole trip was already covered. All right. Already every facet of the trip was being paid for by my parents, which obviously is an insanely nice gesture. That not only do, do we get to spend time in Connecticut away from work, but they're going to cover the cost of absolutely everything so I'm not racking up my own personal debts or whatever. Oh my God. It's terrible. Oh, listen. My, I, also, another thing you guys need to know. My parents aren't made of money. They're not. They're not rich by any means. Um, It's just that this is such a big event for them that they wanted to, us to come out or whatever, that they were willing to, to incur that debt because it was so important to them to spend time with me and Kat. And now, of course, we're going to get married. It just adds more more icing to the cake and, and for them. Now, this is before we started planning any of it. Immediately, the, what's the first thing that hits our head? Oh, God, well, what are we going to do? Because we have no money for a dress, for rings, for that kind of... We just don't have it, you know? We don't have that kind of stuff. Um, and on top of that... We knew that taxes were going to be coming up. I had not raised a single dollar, really, for taxes. And on top of all of that, if you guys remember the end of 2018, it went very poorly for me. I got very sick during Christmas week, when traditionally I have some of my biggest, most successful streams of the year. People come out and say Merry Christmas, and they contribute during those streams, and I do special holiday events. I ended up getting sick during that week, and a lot of the, the funds that I rely on that come in near the end of the year to help pay for taxes and stuff didn't exist. They just didn't exist. They never happened. Um, so sadly, what happened was, we were, this is about, I'd say two months ahead, so this is what, probably February. Yeah, about February. Kat and I sat down, we're like, we would love to get married, but how are we going to do this? You know? And so what we had to do was basically try to find a way. How can we have revenue streams from idiots? How do we fool the common moron into giving us money for zero effort? To afford doing a marriage. And so we basically cut every corner possible. Every fucking corner possible. My suit that I wore is the same suit I've owned for 10 years and worn once. I bought that suit when I still had my office job and I was doing YouTube as a hobby. At went and, and you know went out with her friends and looked for a dress and found an incredibly cheap dress. Not at a fucking bridal boutique for thousands of dollars. I've, I'm to understand it. She wouldn't tell me. Because by the way, just like it's the tradition, you're, the, the, the groom is not supposed to see the dress until the wedding day. I never saw it. I never didn't know anything about, you know, exactly where she got it. She never, you know, but she apparently got it, like, really cheap. Under, definitely under $100. Okay? Um, as for the rings, um, that was something that we did have to, we knew we were going to have to spend a little bit of money on. And what I mean by rings, not the engagement ring that she got, but our wedding band. 
this is my wedding band, and then I got a wedding band, or, or, well, we got a wedding band for her that matched her engagement ring, so it kind of fit in together. Because her engagement ring is actually, unlike a normal engagement ring, usually it's like a square cut. Hers was like a, a diamond design. So because of that, we had to get a wedding band that would match up with it, and it was a little hard to find one. But basically, we ended up getting rings, and, you know, my parents helped with it. I told them the situation, and they ended up helping out with it. So that it wasn't, oh god, we're dropping hundreds of dollars out of our pockets. So all being said, all I had to get for the wedding was a belt and a pair of shoes and a tie, okay? And all Kat really had to get was a pair of the, the dress which she got and a pair of shoes and a veil. And that was it. And we got everything on cheap on discount. I mean, all in all, wrapped up, we probably spent under $200 for all the accessories and things that we needed for this wedding. No lie. Everything else was taken care of by my parents, okay? I don't have money to pay off my credit cards. So, you know, this is money that I used to easily be, have have flexibility and it's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. But it's tough. It really is tough. Like right now, I'm being honest with you guys. I have no money. My bank account is empty. It is a scam. It's a money-making scam. It always was. So, that was all the preparation that we did for this. So, what ended up happening was... My, you know, now that we, we basically had figured out it is feasible, it's actually feasible to do this, you know, my parents and I began planning, how are we going to do it? And we started talking about, well, if we get married, what venue? Well, my parents were like, we don't, we're not going to do a venue. We don't have money for that. You know, we can't go rent a fucking hall. We can't rent anywhere. Just, we'll do it at the house. Do it at my parents' house. There was basically a very, 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 very small group of attendees for a wedding. Um, And that's what it was going to be. It was basically just going to be we, one day of our visit, okay, will go to my parents' house, get dressed up, get married in their house with a justice of the peace, um, and then go to, out to a dinner. And that would be a perfect end of the night. We don't need anything fancy. We don't need dancing. We don't need music. We don't need crazy receptions. We don't need a venue. It could just be get married at the house, drive down, you know, drive a little bit, have a nice dinner, done. And I knew that if I gave any information that number one, I was getting married, or number two, the specifics of where I was going to be on what day, that there was potential that people could do this fucking stuff to me, right? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, today we're going to the zoo. Um, and then we go to the zoo and the police show up because someone swatted the zoo. What? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? Like, that was a genuine... For anyone else on the planet Earth, that's like silly. That's ridiculous. That's silly, Phil. For me, that's actually a genuine concern. What if I say, oh, we're getting married on Wednesday, and they swap my parents' house during the marriage? Right? I have elderly relatives that could die. Have a heart attack. You know? I can't do this shit. It's so fucked up how fucked up my fucking life is because of these fucking degenerates and the shit that they've done to me over the years. What? Okay, prove it. And there's no proof whatsoever. It's just completely, you know, things... That are based on snippets of fact that are completely spun out of proportion and not true whatever. So this is a genuine fucking concern. Some people think it's funny. It's not. It's not funny. This is not funny. And this is not a joke. This is not me over-exaggerating. This is a serious concern that, like, so one of my relatives could get fucking killed or, you know what I mean? Because of some shithead piece of immoral garbage, a uh, morally decrepit toxic turd that breathes, draws breath and sucks the air off the planet where other valid fucking morally... Uh, you know, good people want to live, this person could actually hurt me like this, okay? In fact, this is not me lying or exaggerating, which I have not done at all in this video, I promise you. So, you know, I had to go through incredible hoops to basically make sure that you guys didn't know where I was on certain days and didn't know that I was getting married. In fact, I'm going to be very honest with all of you. You know those pictures that I posted up on Instagram? Those weren't posted up in, in order. I scattered them in a random order so that you would think that I was somewhere on a certain day when I wasn't. Because I knew that if I had posted up on the day that I was doing those things, that people would try to fuck with me. Maybe I'm paranoid by nature. In fact, it was only oh, that week before I went on this trip that people were actually saying to me, Phil, are you going to go eat at Vinny's Pizza that first night that you're there? And I'm thinking... There it is, you know, there's these are people who are actually trying to get information about where I'm going to be and what I'm going to do to get me in trouble. So I had to take incredible, incredible precautions to make sure that no one knew anything about where I was, okay? Um, and it worked, and it was very difficult and stressful, and it was very tough to do this, all right? Um, but it, it paid off. Me just sitting back and laughing my ass off at how stupid these people are. 
and laughing it up, laughing it up because of the hideous scam of me saying that I had tax issues this year, right? They actually pay me money to do this. That's how dumb these people are. And I'll be very transparent with all of you here. The Emerald 7 money, I mean, everyone wants to know, Emerald 7, who gifted all those subs, where did that money go? How much did it end up being? I can't tell you how much it ended up being. But what I can tell you is that that money went towards paying my bills, it went towards paying the state taxes for the year, because the state taxes now, now I pay my, my yearly business taxes. Um because I'm a registered business in the state of Washington. I'm actually doing my taxes properly now, unlike I was doing for three years wrong because my old tax guy was a fucking asshole and didn't do them right, and I ended up getting into years and years of back tax problems, okay? This year, I paid them correctly. So the Emerald 7 money went to just pay basic bills, and it went towards that money. It went towards paying my tax guy for doing stuff with the state taxes. Um, it's a money pit. I basically had to raise five grand. I couldn't raise five grand. You know, I, where am I going to get $5,000 from? I know where to get it from. All the money that I have is now accounted for going towards these things. None of the money was going towards the wedding. Like, none. Literally, I wasn't paying for anything involved in the wedding. Um, it all was pre-done by my parents, and still I didn't have enough money to pay these federal taxes, which is why I had the idea, I guess I'm going to have to do these marathon events, and hopefully people will come out and be supportive, and I can raise as much as I possibly can out of the 5000 and and go from there, okay? And I did. I did two different marathon events, all right, that raised, in total, if you actually look at the amount of tips that I raised that can go towards these taxes, was around, I think, just, I want to say just under $2,500, but also what people need to understand, which they don't, is that normally I raise tips, and normally tips go to paying bills, so even though I raised $2,500, a chunk of that had to just go to pay my monthly stuff normally, and so even though I raised $2,500, in reality, it was probably under $2,000 that I had left over afterwards to put towards the federal taxes, so... By the time that all these events had gone down, and it was basically the last day, April 6th, I had raised, in essence, enough to pay, I think I was like, I want to I wanna say, I was $4,000 short of making the goal that my tax guy said, this is the amount you need to pay the government to qualify for the payment plan, all right? And at that point, I was like, well, I raised what I've raised, you know, um, there's nothing else I could do about it, I, you know. You can only, you can only beat the dead horse enough you know, until it turns into paste. This guy's a bitch. And there's nothing else I could do. So what I was going to do um, was go on this trip and basically enjoy it for as much as I could. Try to get, keep the tax issues completely out of my mind. I knew that a wedding was going to be beautiful and was going to be very nice. And was going to end up basically being something that was going to be a life-changing event that I would remember forever. And I said, you know what? I will come home. When this is all done, I'll contact my tax guy again. I'll say, I failed in raising what, what you said I needed. I have this. I'll put this towards the taxes. What's the next step? Does it mean that the government now will say you owe a ton of, of, of interest and fees because you didn't pay it all and you didn't qualify for the payment plan? You know, what's the next steps? And the bottom line is I didn't know what the answer was going to be because I, I wouldn't have even known what, you know, what to raise. So I did. I actually had got all that information, sent it to my tax guy before I had left on this trip. And, uh, and that was that. And that was it. You know, that was where we, I had left it a week ago. Saturday was April 6th, which was my birthday. So, basically, I was nervous as shit. I didn't know what was going to happen. I was deadly nervous. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.